Hardy's Hawks. It's good to have everyone here today. Um, this isn't exactly how I envisioned our last day together at Kirby's. And I am sad that you're not here in person to um, celebrate um, each other's accomplishments and the special memories that you created over the years at Kirby's. But I am incredibly grateful that you are in good health and that you are here today um, joining us for this school-wide event that we had um, prepared in your honor. Um, in getting ready for today, I kind of reflected on the first time that we met. And it occurred to me that you were in second grade um, when I first came to Kirby's. You were a lot um, smaller back then. And now as a fifth grader, um, you've changed. You're taller than me. You're smarter. You're wiser. You're kinder. And I believe that you're ready to move on to Haynes and do great things and make us proud. Um, but always remember though, that you are a Kirby's Hawk, always and forever. We're here rooting for you and that we are here for you. So in recognition of all the years that you um, spent at Kirby's and all that you have done to make our school special, because you did exactly that, um, we are going to send you off with a huge Kirby's Mill clap out. Best of luck next year at Haynes. We're going to miss you at Kirby's. Remember, work hard, be kind, and always have fun.
25th grade, this is Mrs. Rathman here. I just want to take a moment to say goodbye and to wish you luck as you leave Kirby's and start on your journey of middle school. It's been a pleasure to be your teacher this year and I wish you all the best in middle school. Words of advice for you next year. Step out of your comfort zone. Try something new. Join a new club, try a new sport, make some new friends. There's a place at the table for everyone in middle school. Just remember, as you navigate all these new halls, you've got this. Believe in yourself, because I always believed in you. And make sure that you remember my motto, be positive. And don't forget, you always have a second home at Kirby's. So come back so I can give you much more than this virtual hug. Best of luck, guys. Bye-bye. end of the year that you were hoping for, but I'm so proud of all you've done and all that you've accomplished. It isn't easy to learn outside of the classroom, especially in elementary school. You have all proved that you can handle whatever life throws at you, and I just know that you will do a great job next year at Haynes. You may have missed out on some of the special fifth grade memories, but this certainly was a year to remember. When you look back on elementary school, you'll remember the big things. You'll remember your friends, and yes, you may even remember that time that you were home for several months. Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I think the same thing is true of elementary school. You will probably forget some of your teacher's names. You may forget your classmates, and you may even forget what the classrooms look like, but you will never forget how Kirby's Mill made you feel safe and loved. You will do great next year. Keep working hard, keep smiling, keep a positive attitude. We will miss you so much at Kirby's Mill, and we hope that we can see you very soon.
we are, boys and girls. It's the end of fifth grade. It's the end of the Kirby's Mill part of your life's journey. And now you're ready to move on. So before you go, I have a few things I want to say. I love teaching fifth grade for a lot of reasons, but all of those reasons have to do with you. You guys are at an amazing age. You are still sweet and innocent. You're funny, but you can be so serious and thoughtful. You're still in awe of everything you're learning about the world, and you have an amazing sense of right and wrong. Maybe most importantly, you teach me things every single day. Every teacher from the first day that you attended preschool up to and including today wants the very best for you. So we're going to send you off with our love and a few pieces of advice. Work hard because when you accomplish something difficult, and when you've done your best, you grow so much more than when you take the easy way. Keep questioning what is happening in the world today and why things happen in the world the way they did in the past. Believe in the good in everyone and always give everyone a chance. Remember that each of you has a gift and the world needs you to share that gift. Remember that everyone fails, everyone struggles, everyone feels defeated at certain times in their life. But the good news is tomorrow's a new day. It's a chance to start over, to try harder, to ask for help. Kirby Smill is so proud of each and every one of you. And we're gonna miss you terribly. So enjoy your summer. Uh, when you get to Haynes, just knock everybody out with your awesome abilities. Take care of yourselves. We will miss you. Bye-bye.